<laughs> we have a lot of viewers who were anti-social justice warrior, but still pro Bernie Sanders fiscal policy. Uh, I think we're at the point now where everybody has to admit that, okay, maybe you weren't in on the gag, but Bernie is as bad as they come. He's not a guy who actually believes what he says because you want to contrast him with Hillary Clinton. The guy is a charlatan. The guy is the social justice warrior in chief. Uh, in case you were wondering his latest it's not a blunder. This is proactive. This is a guy who proactively constantly throws out inflammatory hyperbole. Uh, in his latest, he accused Republicans of pushing a health care bill that is worse and will kill more people than 9-11. Let's go to the tape. If 23 million Americans were to be thrown off the insurance they currently have, which is what the House bill would do, up to, up to 28 thousand Americans every single year could die. That is nine times more than the tragic losses we suffered on 9-11 every single year. Nine is more than eight. Nine is more than eight. For those who are wondering. And never, you know, it, ask, it sounds don't bad ask enough. Sanders about that. But not one to ever shy away from hyperbole. He just keeps, he just kept going. It wouldn't stop. Nine times more than that of 9-11. It is nearly 10 times that of Pearl Harbor, and of course a fraction yet to be calculated, but significant amount of the Jews killed at Auschwitz by the Nazi regime. It is also estimated to be two times more than those deceased from the Good Lord's global flood, which forced Noah to board animals two by two. Of course, Noah had an ark. Where is the American people's ark? Why is there still a debate in 2017 of whether or not an ark is a human right? Also, what are plantains? Are you a banana or a potato? Plantains, it's time for you to shit or get off the pot. You know, I'm actually not entirely Dylan, sure what a plantain is. Is it even accurate? Okay, uh, his claim 28,000 people will die from healthcare. Throws that out there to do his 9-11 inflammatory comparison. Um, no, Bernie's estimates are not accurate. They're based on a CBO projection. And by the way, the CBO, they've already had to revise their numbers before. This isn't the first time. So let me read this from you from National Review, but you can also find this up at PolitiFact where they talk about how this claim is not entirely true. Their current baseline predicts that the exchange enrollment will skyrocket to 18 million by 2018. Now here's the thing, there's no evidence that this is going to happen if you look at the exchange enrollment, that it'll be significantly higher or, 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 or more robust than current levels. Especially when you look, we've talked about this, premiums going up sometimes 32% year over year, 17% was the average. There was something like 30 states where it went up close to 40%. So the CBO is working off of its March 2016 baseline. And that's important because the performance of the bill relative to that rosy, it's never been close to their projections. Just with that alone, they're off by 7 million. And there's actually good reason to believe that only 5 million people as opposed to 28 million people might lose their coverage. I think everyone in this room has a friend or a family member who's sick, who needs help, who we help out, who we either give money to, we provide rides for them, or we help them with their health care. There's this myth that only the left and Bernie Sanders are compassionate because they're talking about people now who will be kicked off of their health care. And so can you believe that the Republicans wanted it? Well, actually, Republicans we do take care of our own. We do want to take care of people who we know. We just have a fundamental mistrust that Bernie Sanders and Mrs. Bank Fraud herself, Sanders, is it Jane Sanders? Jean, Jane, Jean? I think it's Jane Sanders. Jane Sanders, okay. Jane Sanders. There's this myth that the left has a monopoly on compassion. This is what Bernie Sanders says. Um, we just don't want you to take our money and give it to people we don't know. We don't want you to put it into a system that actually has unfortunately forced more people to lose their health care through not being able to afford it, through no longer being able to afford the skyrocketing premiums or deductibles. We never talk about them. That's the forgotten man. No, that's the forgotten family. Your, print, your average deductible is $12,000, $16,000 per family. You've been going up 32% year over year. We don't care about you because by God, we have to compare the amount of people losing their health care and the subsequent false death rate to people who were killed in 9-11 because Bernie Sanders has an election to win when he is 90 
98 years old. <laughs> Republicans give more to charity, volunteer more time, and give more blood. Statistically, it's not even close. There's a great book written by Brooks. It's called Who Really Cares? This is not some right-wing extremist. When it comes to your personal givings, Republicans are better tippers, leaving a median tip of 20%. We just covered that on the website. Compare that with the Bernie Sanders tip of 15% to the penny. He breaks out his iPhone calculator, even if it's a dollar 55 cent coffee, he doesn't even follow the $2 per drink rule. <laughs> no. You know what Bernie Sanders is? He's pre-redemption Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge was, are there no prisons? Are there no poor houses? My taxes go to fund, that, uh, fund those institutions. If these poor would rather die, they'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. After that, guess what? Scrooge no longer relies on the government to do his charity for him. He does it personally. It's about personal responsibility. Bernie Sanders, as you see through his tips, as you th see through charitable givings, not only with Bernie, but Barack Obama, uh, the Clintons, Joe Biden, I think he gave less than 1% of his income to charity. Hey, are there no prisons? Is there no welfare? He absolves himself of personal responsibility. When you believe that centralized government is the ultimate form of charity, you tend to be a selfish dick. Here's something else. Can we finally admit that Bernie Sanders is not this gee golly, he believes what he says? He is the ultimate social justice warrior, saying that Republicans will kill more people than 9-11. This is a guy who's directly catered to Black Lives Matter. He's directly gone out there and parroted the false statistic of women earning 74 cents on the dollar. This is the guy who compares political opposition to authoritarians and fascists. I remember back when John Stewart had his rally for sanity. You remember that? His rally for sanity. This was, this was John Stewart, about as far left as he got back then. The slogan was, I disagree with you, but I'm pretty sure you're not Hitler. Why? Because they were trying to insinuate that Republicans compared everyone to Hitler, that Republicans dealt in hyperbole and the reasonable people were the Democrats. Bernie Sanders just said, Donald Trump's health care bill will kill more people than 9-11. But I'm pretty sure he is Hitler. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterworthcrowder.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.